I did. <laughs> yeah, you did? I you did. still do. I did. You, you I did. still do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Oh, yeah. Okay. I did. Because we did. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, it's before my time. I, I was uh, fortunate uh -huh. enough to get involved in skiing in uh, about 1970, and uh, that was just after the plastic ski boot came in. And you'll, you'll realize that skiing really made a big change. How many people skied in leather boots here? And the style was functional feet together, right, bracing one leg against the other, and a veil. Yeah. It was, it was, you know how many years it was before I knew that you spelled Vale with a W? <laughs> I, I used to read Joe Bear's book and he would talk about Vailing, Vailing. I called it Wendling. I didn't know. I totally learned it. But see, that was a functional style with that kind of boot. Legs bracing together, braced in a low leather boot. Something happened in the late 60s into the 70s and that was the plastic ski boot. And when the plastic ski boot happened, in that transition, you remember there were some people that could still ski like Stein Erickson, and there was other people who couldn't. And the ones who couldn't had their feet stuck apart, and they jumped up in the air and moved over here, and jumped up and they moved over there, and they were wrong, weren't they? But that was a very interesting time in our country's history. That was the free spirit time. So they became hot doggers. <laughs> Because the alignment of the boot dictated how they stood, they were free spirit, hot doggers, freestylers, and now they give gold medals for it. It just amazes me that our industry does not understand the cause and effect of equipment and what it does to people. So we're in a position now where we're all skiing in plastic boots, but the boot, if I were to take one, if someone could one of the ones on the floor there, if I were to take that boot and put it on a flat surface, you'll find that it points someplace, okay? Here's what happens. If it points to your center of balance, then you ski by just moving your center of balance, and the skis go this way, and the skis go that way. Now, what happens if it points off a few degrees? Well, before I go this <laughs> <laughs> he knows he speaks from personal experience. If the boot points a different direction than your center, then you have to move your center over to that before you go that way. And then you'll see people with different techniques. We, we like to say it's not, I'm not wrong, I just have a different style. But the reality is the boot will dictate your style. How many people turn better one way than the other? Okay. And is that, is there a reason for it? I know everybody says, well, I have a broken right ankle, I hurt my left. And I, I can tell you that if I stood you in your boots on a hard surface, that I can tell you which way it turns better, just by the direction that the boot puts your body in. So it's not your fault, and that's one of the things I say a lot of times to people. If you have one turn that's better than the other, it's not your fault. Okay? The equipment can be changed to allow you to ski properly on both sides. How about taking lessons? People are working on different parts of their skiing, and you've been told by the instructor over and over and over to keep your outside hand down, but it still goes up. Anybody got that situation? No? Nobody takes lessons, right? <laughs> but that's not a bad thing, not taking lessons. It's, here's what happens in our industry is that the people that are teaching the lessons in general tend to be naturally selective. And by that I mean their boots point someplace, but their body composition fits into the direction of that. So they become a little bit better skier than average because their boot alignment happens to be naturally better. Okay? The problem is if your boot alignment's off and you're doing this and they're telling you to do this, I don't care how many times they tell you, you're still going to want to adjust the alignment for the boots that you're in. So what I do, and I, how many people here have done boots for? I know there's a few of us. Okay. And uh, that changed your skiing a little bit? I know we have an instructor yeah. over here. I didn't mean to pick on instructor. <laughs> but uh, so, so these are some changes that we, that we want to make uh, to custom the boot to each individual person's alignment. Um, some of the things that we, we talk about, and, and, and I have some articles over here that are uh, dealing with ski instruction and some ideas and concepts that people have, but one of the problems that I have right now is that the, the understanding of basic human biomechanics is way, way behind within the ski industry. So some of the concepts that I talk with you about, I don't want to get into a lot of it, 
but the, the idea that the human body works a certain way, we should build ski technique based on the way the skeletal structure works. Unfortunately, right now, a lot of times it isn't. We tend to want to be taught to roll ankles and misalign ourselves. Instead of being tall and strong, we're, we're, we're pressing against the front of the boot. Now, I know that a lot of people get in the back seat. Anybody here? Get in the back seat? <laughs> I had a 65 Chevy. I think I got you. I'm going to ask you a question. Newton said something about equal and opposite reaction. Okay. If you're in the back seat, what's the typical solution that somebody tells you to do? Press against the front of the boot. What's the only direction you can go when you press against something in front of you? Where's the logic here? Okay. To me, when I start to think about these things, I, and what we do then is we press against the front, and it's, when we start to go back, so then we lean harder into the front. I would contend that if I want to move my center of mass and keep it forward on the ski, then maybe I should extend up, use the back of my boot, because once I hit the back of the boot, where am I going to go? Forward. So if I want to stay forward, maybe up against the back keeps me forward, not down against the front, opposite of what most people would think about skiing. I'd love to challenge your mind with a few of these ideas and talk with you about it. I, I know I have a board here. I, who else brought boots? Anybody? Anybody else bring their boots tonight? Oh God. <laughs> 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 